Hello everyone, so it's day 10 of my uh, 60 pounds in 90 days weight loss challenge using intermittent fasting and ketosis to get to my desired goal weight uh, very quickly. Please like and subscribe below if you um, would like to see the results of this contest and also get daily tips and tricks on how to use ketosis and intermittent fasting uh, for you to achieve your goals as well. So yesterday I told you that I went to Panda Express. I explained what I had and I put it in their nutrition calculator and my calories were definitely under what they would need to be for me to lose weight in a day. But today when I weighed in, and I'll put that weigh in at the end of the video, along with proof that I'm still in ketosis. Um, today when I weighed in, it was no surprise to me that I hadn't lost any weight. And uh, you know, when you weigh in on a day-to-day -day basis, you have to be prepared for uh, those level offs or even ups and downs. But it wasn't a surprise to me simply because I knew when I ate at Panda Express that fast food or when you eat out, it's full of sodium and sodium makes you retain water. So even though my calories were in line and I know I didn't gain any fat, it's no surprise to me that my weight was exactly the same today as it was yesterday. Now that's a temporary effect and eventually that'll come off too because as I mentioned for that first week of weight loss, uh, it was mostly water and food weight. So your body can retain water, your body can let water go. If you eat out, uh, regardless of whether you stay in line with your macros or not, you are going to pick up extra sodium uh, compared to when you're not eating or when you're eating clean at home. But you're going uh, you're gonna to retain water because of that. Not to mention, a lot of times, uh, like yesterday when I ate, even though the calories were in line, it was a lot of food. Uh, it was a lot of food compared to what I've been eating the last couple days. So I probably have more food in my stomach too. Now, one of the things about uh, the ketogenic diet is that you may actually see a stall. You may see a stall for three, four, five days, and then you're going to get that whoosh effect where all of a sudden one day you wake up and you're four pounds lighter. I think that is due to uh, hydrolysis. See, your fat cells release their fat and backfill with water. Eventually, it lets that water go. So you may be burning fat, you may be losing fat, you may be urinating fat in the form of ketones and not seeing any weight loss. But as soon as that water flushes out of those fat cells, you'll see a ginormous weight loss, uh, more than what you would expect overnight. Now, that may make up for a week or even two weeks worth of dieting. Uh, I've, been, I've gone before where I lost a pound a day for 30 days. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I don't lose anything for two weeks, and I'm eating the same, and I go, well, what's going on? And then overnight, I'll lose like seven or eight pounds. It's crazy. Like, you don't even know where the water goes. I mean, I didn't get up and go to the bathroom that many times at night. Clearly not seven pounds worth. It just, uh, I guess you, I guess it just goes out through sweat or um, when you're breathing, you, uh, I think it's called aspirate, is it aspirate? Air uh, with moisture in it and you just lose weight that way. I don't know, it, it's almost uncanny. You'll go to bed and you'll weigh yourself and then when you wake up in the morning, boom, five, six, seven pounds. Uh, one of the things that I like to have uh, when I'm on ketosis is my black coffee. Now, black coffee is not gonna kick you out of ketosis. If you have a sensitive stomach, it may be a little bit acidic for you uh, without any food in your stomach, but it's kind of like a treat for me. Uh, when I'm not getting many flavors, when I don't get to eat a whole lot, I enjoy my coffee. I like to drink it black. The caffeine gives you a little bit of energy and it also uh, increases your metabolism a little bit, so it's kind of a, a treat that helps you in your diet. Um, but if you don't like your coffee black, what you can do is use cashew milk. Cashew milk is creamier than almond milk. It's still uh, got very low calories and it's got, uh, I don't think it has any, I don't even think it shows one carb. If it does, it shows one carb and a serving of eight ounces, which is negligible. Um, and then if you can get those sugar-free flavorings. Now, obviously they're not the best for you. I can't remember if they have saccharin in them or sucralose or what they have. So they, they have some, uh, some things in them that may not be the best for you long term, but they don't have any calories and they might satisfy a little bit of a sweets craving that you have. Get those sugar-free, uh, I use vanilla occasionally, sugar-free syrups, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them even at the dollar store, uh, and mix them with cashew milk and put them in your coffee and you'll have yourself a nice creamy coffee. Personally, I'll take mine black.
So check out this ketosis video, uh, just to show you that even after Panda Express, I'm still in ketosis and also the way in from today. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. So there's my test strip for today. Still in ketosis, even after my Panda Express feast yesterday. 280.8. That's the same as yesterday.